At Holy Trinity Church in Whitestone, Queens, a classic tale is being retold. Our movie is A Man for All Seasons. The showing of the Academy Award winning film is part of the church's monthly summer movie night, held in their brand new parish center. The series is in partnership with the Knights of Columbus Monsignor Dillon Council to bring the community together to get ready for an important diocesan event. As Bishop DiMarzio is preparing in August to begin the year of vocations, this is sort of a way for the parish to begin getting into that mode with movies about a priest, about a layman, and about a religious woman. The maxim of the law is silence gives consent. At tonight's installment, the movie A Man for All Seasons tells the real-life story of the saint, Sir Thomas More. Uh, an outstanding example of a layman in the church. Our king has declared war on the Pope. The film the follows the statesman through the period when King Henry wife. VIII of England separates from the Catholic Church, so he can get a divorce. Throughout the film, Thomas More refuses to go against his beliefs and is tried for treason. Your life lies in your own hands, Thomas, as it always has. The man was kept his Lord. fate, no matter what. That idea of keeping the faith through times of persecution is a theme that also appears in the series' first film about a missionary priest in China called The Keys to the Kingdom, and the final film, The Song of Bernadette. This is a reminder that faith demands that we all step up to the plate and evangelize, and part of evangel evangelization is recognizing that we need to ask young men and women, are you considering a vocation to priesthood and religious life. And as the parishioners gather together to further discuss the Moore movie and its message, those present sing the praises of the 50-year-old film. The actors were superb, forget about it. I love the movie. The next film, The Song of Bernadette, will be shown on August 17th. Reporting for Currents, I'm Katie Angusser.